name is Amy from the Johns Island Library and I am sitting in this beautiful park on Kiowa. It's called Night Harem Park and I'm here at the invitation of the Kiowa Conservancy and I am so grateful to have been asked. Thank you. And the Kiowa Conservancy, their biggest mission is protect the environment, um, wildlife, their habitats, the waterways, the oceans. And so today we are going to talk about how important the oceans and waterways are to us and guess what it happens to be World Ocean Day which makes it even more fun so before we get to our books and songs we're gonna talk a little bit about the oceans and waterways and why they're so important to us and what we can do to help protect them and keep them clean and healthy so first of all the ocean is essential for all life on Earth, and it benefits us in many different ways. So how? Um, the ocean provides us with oxygen to breathe. It influences our climate and weather. It offers a place for people to enjoy swimming and sailing and surfing and kayaking and hanging out on the beach. It provides more than just seafood. Ingredients from the sea are found in surprising foods like peanut butter and soy milk. I didn't know that. Many medicines come from the ocean too, um, including ingredients that help fight cancer, Alzheimer's, arthritis, and heart disease. I learned so many things preparing for the story time. I love it. So I hope you learned some things too. So let's see. We, we just learned how important oceans and waterways are for us. So what can we do to help them, help keep them clean and protect them? And remember, it doesn't matter how young you are, how old you are, whatever age you are, you can take action to help. And here's some ways. So use less plastic and don't litter. Those are some things you should do anyway because one of the problems is, is that millions of tons of plastic waste have already ended up in our oceans, killing or harming sea life. And the animals that live in and around the oceans, rivers, and waterways accidentally eat plastic and get tangled up in it. And that's just not good, right? So you can consider using reusable water, water bottles and bags and recycling when possible. Say no to plastic straws when you can and after a day on the beach or out in nature anywhere double check you haven't left anything behind such as trash food toys clothes or any containers those are so e so easy to do right also when enjoying the beach or anywhere in nature respect marine life without interfering with it. I know sometimes we want to run up to birds or crabs but sometimes that's not really nice to them so Avoid touching, poking, or feeding them and not disturbing their nest, nesting sites or their natural habitats, pretty much where they live. Instead, enjoy observing wildlife quietly and calmly. And just let them, let them be themselves. Just be like if somebody came up to you and you didn't want to be bothered, right? And another thing, and it's a little scientific, but you want to reduce your carbon footprint. And why, why is this important? It's, and bear with me here, increased carbon dioxide is making our oceans more acidic, which is contributing to the loss of coral and is harmful to species such as clams and mussels and crabs, we all know crabs, who build their skeletons and shells from calcium carbonate. It's very scientific, but I wanted to include this one because it's so important. And the things we can do to help reduce our carbon footprint are really easy. These are turn off lights, TVs and computers when you don't need them, reuse and recycle items as often as you can, we've already said that one, grow your own fruits and vegetables in your garden, and reduce water usage by turning off the water like while you're brushing your teeth or taking shorter showers. So these are just a few things about the ways we at any age can keep our oceans and waterways clean. And so I hope you'll, you'll do what you can and, and just respect our environment and our oceans and waterways and wildlife and because it, it's so wonderful. So are you ready for some songs and stories? I am, yay! So we'll start with our opening song. Here we go. Are you ready for a story? Clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, pat your head. If you're ready for a story, pat your head. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, pat your head. 
If you're ready for a story, touch your nose. If you're ready for a story, touch your nose. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, touch your nose. If you're ready for a start story, rub your tummy. If you're ready for a story, rub your tummy. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, rub your tummy. Yay, good job. All right, so our first book is gonna be this wonderful book called Touch the Earth, and it's by Julian Lennon, who is John Lennon's son, who y'all all know, and it's with Bart Davis and illustrated by, and I'm gonna try to get this right, Smiljana Co. So I hope I got that right. And it's published by Sky Pony Press. So with this fun book, we're gonna fly around the world, help save the environment, and learn along the way that water is essential to everything. So here we go. Also with this book, I'm gonna get you to help me along the way. We're gonna be touching little buttons and going in different directions, and I, kinda, I want you to go along with me and help me. So here we go. We all live on planet Earth. Gently touch the Earth, which is this whole thing is Earth. Now touch where you live. So here's a map of the world and the Earth, and we are here in the United States, right down there, South Carolina. Our planet needs your help. Would you like to go on a helping adventure? Yeah, me too. All right, we're gonna shake the book to make it change into the magic white feather flower. Here we go, shake. Look, the white feather flyer will take you on a journey to help the earth. Just press the fly button and tilt the book up. All right, we're gonna press the fly button and we're gonna tilt it up, there we go. To guide the white feather flyer, you need directions. Point to all four directions on the compass and say their names. Ready to do this with me? North, south, east, west. Good job. Directions help us travel safely. Oh, and we're gonna do it one more time. Here we go. North, south, east, west. Good job. So we're gonna tilt the book south and push the land button to set it down. So here's the land button. Ooh, there we go. Water is the most important resource on Earth, but some places don't have enough. Clean, have enough clean water for the people who live there. Push the water button and make the water flow. Here's the water button, let's let the water flow. <gasps> you did great, there's enough water for people to drink now. Let's help our planet even more. We're gonna push the fly button and tilt the book north. Okay, let's hit the fly button and fly north. There we go. The oceans touch every life on Earth. We're gonna tilt the book south and press the dive button to take a trip under the sea. That sounds pretty cool. So here's the dive button and we're gonna whoo down into the water. Fish are beautiful and important for so many people. We have to keep the water clean to protect the fish. Touch all the plastic bottles and things that shouldn't be in the water, and then we're gonna push the fish button to bring the fish back. So see how disgusting and, and littered the, the bottom of the sea is? We've got the plastic, the book asked us to touch all that plastic, so gross and icky. And so now we're gonna push the water button and hope to bring the fish back. So with this, we're cleaning up the ocean. <gasps> Look! You've tipped the scales for sea creatures, great and small. Would you like the adventure to continue? I would. So we're gonna push the fly button and tilt the book east at this time. Here's the fly button. Woo, here we go. The desert is a place where there's almost no water at all. Let's go and see. Can you make a plan to land? That's right, you know how. What we do is press the land button and land. Sometimes we can bring water to where the land is too dry, like the desert. It's called irrigation. Push the water button to help irrigate the desert. Push the button. Let's see what happens. <gasps> you made the desert bloom like a garden. Now it can grow food for people and animals. Look at this, we've got the cacti. I believe that's the pearl of cactuses, or cact a cactus. <sighs> Are you ready to see more? Help the white feather flyer take off into the sky. Push the button, here we go. Rain is another kind of water that we all need. It keeps the oceans filled and the rivers flowing. 
but not all water is okay to drink. We're gonna point the book south to swoop down low for a closer look. Ooh. In some places, wells have water that isn't safe to drink. Did you know there are machines to help make that water pure and safe again? Turn the book west and then push the parachute button to deliver a machine. Here we go. We're gonna push the parachute button and let it go west. Here we go. See how it works? We call this filtration. We're gonna push the water button and follow the water as it changes from yucky to clean. We're gonna push that water button. Look at all these people who are so excited. All right, it's time to head back home. You've touched the earth in so many ways. Here we are flying away. Look at all these happy people on earth that we've cleaned their water, brought them water, all kinds of wonderful things. Bye for now. We'll be back soon. So in this book, Julian Lennon has written this wonderful poem called Touch the Earth. It is wonderful. I'm not gonna read it today for story time, but I encourage you to check out this book because it's so wonderful and fun and interactive. And the poem is beautiful. All right, y'all ready for a fun song? I am. So this one's all about fish. So remember, we're celebrating oceans and waterways today, and fish live in the waterways and oceans. So with this one, we're gonna practice our colors. And when I, I'm gonna have the little fish swim like this, but you can use your arms and swim however you want. If you're standing up, you can swim in a circle. Just have fun. And then when we get to the bubble, 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 you have as much fun with that. Jump up and up if you want to. So first of all, what color do we have? Red. Good job, guys. So here we go. One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. <clears throat> I've got a little frog in my throat. All right. What color do we have? Green. Good job, guys. Here we go. One little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little green fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. All right. Let's see what color we have next. Good job. One little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little blue fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. All right, we've got one last fish. What color? Yellow. Good job. One little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little yellow fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Yay! That's one of my favorite songs. I'm glad y'all had fun with it too. Are you ready for another book? I am. So this one, we're gonna learn some cool things about the ocean from the Nerdy Babies series. And when I'm calling, saying Nerdy Babies, it's the series, but, uh, so I'm not calling you a nerdy baby, but that pretty much means you're smart and I'd be happy to be called that. So this book is by Emmy Kastner and it is published by Roaring Book Press. So here we go, learning more about the ocean. Hey there, nerdy babies. Do you ever wonder about the ocean? You probably do. You're curious, we all are. See that blue stuff on Earth? Well, that's the ocean, and the green stuff is the land. Off the coast, swirling between each continent on our planet. I love that they're in the bath, that's some water. And uh, let's see, you'll find the ocean. There's the ocean with some dolphins and a ship, and there are the waves and a seagull. And down deep, we've got some jellyfish. And over here, we've got a whale tail and some rocks. It's all over the world. Most of our planet is covered in salt water. That's not the kind we drink. Some animals live on the shore and find food in the ocean, uh, like birds. This little baby's going, birds! We've got birds, and look at the little crab here, too. At the surface, you might, may find animals peeking up who need air to breathe or a place to sleep. <laughs> um, just some people riding by on a bicycle. <laughs> you might have heard them. Anyway, so I'll read this again. At the surface, you may find animals peeking up who need air to breathe or a place to sleep. So 
the whale coming up to breathe, you can see the spout breathing, and you've got the little otter with the baby and some seals sleeping there. And look at the little baby sleeping with the seals. The water is warmed by the sun. And with the sun, they, the artist put some arms on him so he could hug you. Just below the surface, you'll find plants and animals that need light from the sun to live and grow. And this little baby, so many fish! And look, we've got a shark, and I really don't know the types of fish here, but there are all kinds of them here. They are beautiful. Oh. A little deeper, marine life is on the move. Animals migrate all over the world, and there's plenty to eat along the way. So here we have leatherback sea turtles. They swim to distant beaches to lay their eggs. And I learned while preparing for this and looking, reading more about this book just to make sure I understood <laughs> all of this wonderful knowledge is that they actually do eat lion's mane jellyfish. I did not know. I just thought it was a pretty picture. Um, and then you have blue marlin travel far following food and they eat the mackerel. And then gray whales head south for the winter and they eat what's called krill, which are these little shrimp crustacean things. Most of the ocean is cold. Since fish are cold-blooded, their bodies adjust to match warm and cold water. I love this baby asking the fish, aren't you cold? <laughs> Back on the surface, other marine animals have thick fur or blubber or feathers to keep warm. So here we have the polar bear with the thick fur. A, is that a whale or a manatee? I don't know. Um, it has blubber. And then we have the penguins with feathers. And it's saying that these guys are on the North Pole and these guys are in the South Pole. The deeper you travel down into the ocean, the colder and darker it gets. <gasps> Few plants live this far from the sunlight, and guess what? Some creatures even glow, that's so cool. Deep is very deep. At the deepest point, the bottom is about seven miles down. Only a few people have been to the very bottom of the ocean. And I love this little note here. Deep sea vents are hot. So apparently there's this hot, hot, uh, what do you call it, air coming out. And then this one is really pointing out, no sunlight. There are thousands and thousands of unique marine species in the ocean. Um, and there are just some fun little tidbits here. Apparently the octopus has three hearts. A uh, whale is the loudest animal on earth. And it uh, looks like I think this is a manatee and it's related to elephants. Okay. And otherwise we see there's a little otter again. We got a puffer fish. We got a clam, a shrimp, a seahorse. Is that a, a, a seal, a shark, a penguin? Uh, I think that's a puffin. Uh, we got a crab. All Oh, dolphin. All kinds of wonderful sea life. And this little guy is, do you, says, do you have a favorite? I bet you do. The ocean is huge. Oh my goodness, there are many species that haven't even been discovered yet. Hmm, maybe this exists, maybe we don't know yet. Marine biologists get their feet wet and explore just like you. So look at this, nerdy baby can grow up to be a nerdy kid and then a nerdy marine biologist learning all of these wonderful things. So stay curious, there's more to learn about everything. Thank y'all for listening to that. I learned so much with that book. I really did. And like I said, I went and looked some things up to make sure I really understood it. I thought that was so cool. So with that, we have another song. I'm so excited. What song do I have set for us next? Ooh, we're gonna do Itsy Bitsy Spider. And at first you may think it has nothing to do <laughs> with the oceans, but guess what? There's rain in it and water. So, and that is very connected to keeping water clean throughout our planet. So, and this, and this Bitsy Spider is fun on its own, but I'm gonna do an extra, extra fun version. So here we go. And I'm gonna make funny faces and y'all can laugh at me if you want. But if you're doing it with me, you're gonna make funny faces too, and I hope you do. So here we go. Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went
coming up this bout again. Okay, you ready to make a funny face? We're gonna be a big spider. So here we go. The great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big spider went up the spout again. All right, this is my favorite spiders, the rock and roll spiders. Here we go. The rock and rolling spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the rock and rolling spider went up the spout again. Yay! It was so super fun. Thanks for doing that with me. Ready for another fun book? I am. So this is another one. This one is one where we can get inspired by this little guy, Rocket, as he cleans up the, the beach to make it safer for the environment. It is such a fun, fun book with lots of fun pictures and, like I said, inspiring. So it's called Rocket Says Clean Up by Nathan Bryan, illustrated by Dapo Adiola, and I hope I pronounced that correctly too. And it is published by Random House. So here we go. I can't sleep tonight, I'm too excited because tomorrow, <gasps> me, my mom, and my big brother Jamal, Jamal, are going on vacation to see my Grammy and Grampy. It feels as though we've been packing forever, but now we're ready to go, so excited. I'm gonna be fist bumping a turtle, isn't that cute? Dancing with a dolphin, high-fiving an octopus, and serving the waves like awesome Imani Wilmot. And here's a fun little tidbit that I didn't know. Did you know Imani Wilmot created the first female surf competition in Jamaica? That's pretty cool. As soon as we arrive, I give my Grammy and Grampy a huge hug. And guess what? They have an animal sanctuary. It's really cool. And apparently we are on Jamaica right now. My grandparents are the best. They run whale watching tours and have an animal sanctuary behind their house. I can't wait to help. Granby tells me we never touch wild animals unless they need to be rescued or cared for. But first it's time to serve. My Grammy is really good, I love that. Then mom and I build a huge sand castle. Oh no, a baby turtle is washed up on shore all tangled in plastic. Poor little guy, that is not good. I pick her up gently and take her to Grammy and Grampy. They can fix this. Grammy says she will try her best and takes her back to the sanctuary. So this is an example like I talked about at the beginning of our story time about if we leave litter, especially plastic litter, they get um, all tangled up. And as you can tell, this is where you had, I guess like soda cans, you know, those like Coke cans. So that is just sad. Plastic is ruining these islands, Rocket, says Grampy sadly. We save as many creatures as we can, but some stay away. People used to come here to see the whales, but we haven't spotted a whale in a long time. He leads me down the beach. Feels as though there is more plastic than sand. Look at all of that trash. It is disgusting and awful. I feel really sad. We need to do something, but what? And I have to point out, it makes me sad too that we've got the birds eating the sand or eating the trash because they accidentally think it's food and that's not healthy for them either. The next day at the beach, there are people playing in the sand, swimming in the sea and eating popsicles. But all I notice now is the plastic. Surely they see it too? Apparently they're just ignoring it. I need to let everyone know. Did you know whales eat the plastic and it makes them sick? Did you know nearly half the trash in the sea comes directly from careless people? Did you know there are over 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic in the ocean? Oh my God, that is horrible. Soon we have lots of new friends who wanna help. I love that. As the day goes on, more and more people join. We spend the whole day cleaning the beach. Even Jamal helps, and there's Jamal. He's still on his phone, but he's helping. The cleanup crew is amazing. And soon, the beach is clean. And look how happy everyone is. But now, what do we do with all the plastic we collected? Teresa, part of the cleanup crew, has a brilliant idea. 
my mom is an artist. Maybe we could get her to create something out of it. Yes, they high five. Teresa's mom makes awesome bins for trash out of the trash we collected. And look at that, she made a fish out of it and they could put the trash in it too. I love it. And the cleanup crew makes the front page of the newspaper and the TV news, woohoo! Now no one will forget why we need to clean up. Everyone on the island wants clean beaches. Everyone on the island wants clean water. Everyone on the island wants to bring back the whales. The next day, Grammy and Grampy have a barbecue for the whole cleanup crew. The smell of Grammy's special sauce wafts around the island. Best of all, while everyone's talking and laughing and eating, Grampy and I release the turtle we rescued back into the sea and watch as she swims away. She's all better now. And I just know one day the whales will come back. Did you know? One day you are going to change the world, Rocket. And there are some wonderful tips in the back here. I talked about them at the beginning of the story time, so I'm not gonna read them again. But just know there are some wonderful things talking about reducing the plastic, going organic, disposing of your trash, and, and that kind of thing. And there's a wonderful website you can go to, too. So thank you all for listening to that wonderful book. It was so inspiring. And if everyone had the attitude that Rocket has, the world would be so much cleaner, and it would be wonderful. And we wouldn't have to be worried about keeping our oceans and wildlife and their habitats clean and protected. So we have one final song and I'm going to grab my scarf. Here we go. So I'm going to use a scarf for this song, um, but if you don't, and you can use anything that is like it, you can grab a scarf, a handkerchief, a napkin, a towel, anything you have. And if you don't have any of that around, you can just use your hands. It works just fine. So here we go. Fish in the sea go swish, 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 swish. The fish in the sea go swish, swish, swish all day long. The dolphins in the sea swim round and round, round and round, round and round. The dolphins in the sea swim round and round all day long. The waves, waves on the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves on the sea go up and down all day long. Oh, that was so fun. And I, I am so excited that y'all joined me for today's story time, celebrating the oceans and wanting to keep the, our waterways and oceans and water clean and protect the wildlife associated with it. And I thank the Kiowa Conservancy for inviting me out to do this. And again, their mission is to do just that, protect wildlife and their habitats and keep everything healthy. So we can have all our birds and, and fish and just all oh, wildlife, it's wonderful. So thank you again for joining me and um, just thank you, bye.